Baruch here with GenConnect.com and we're talking with Cassie Conley, the Deputy Chair of the Planetary Protection Panel of the International Council for Science Committee on Space Research. How are you, Cassie? I'm very good today. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. So let's get right into it. What are you protecting the Earth from? So planetary protection involves protecting the Earth and also protecting other planets in this solar system at the moment. We're protecting other planets from life on Earth because there is life everywhere on Earth. And if we want to go to these other planets, we want to study the life that's there and not the life that we brought with us. We need to be polite visitors. Correct. Good, good neighbors. Uh, and if we're going to bring samples back from another location to the Earth, we don't want to bring any potentially hazardous organisms that might be present in those locations. Mars, Europa, and Enceladus are the only places that we think might have organisms. But if we're bringing samples back to the Earth from those locations, we want to make sure that we don't cause something like the Andromeda strain on Earth. So when we're thinking aliens, you know, we're, we're picturing E.T., or I'm picturing E.T., but there could be these microscopic aliens that we can't even see, and we might be bringing them back unwittingly. Correct. Unwillingly. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so uh, if you're talking about intelligent aliens, that's not really, in the United States, that's not really NASA's problem. That would be the Air Force's problem. Internationally, it would be a different body, a different arm of the UN that would worry about intelligent aliens than the uh, International Council for Science, which advises the UN. And the Committee on Space Research worries about space activities. So the Panel on Planetary Protection just worries about these microbial the potentially small organisms that would be brought back or present in other locations. So worst case scenario, what if all of our protective measures don't work and we end up bringing back some of these organisms to the United, to, 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 the, to this planet? What could happen? Well, probably nothing. But one of the things that we have learned by transporting organisms around on the Earth we brought rabbits to Australia, somebody released starlings in the uh, Central Park in New York because they wanted all the birds of Shakespeare to be present in the New World. We don't know that anything bad would happen, and in most cases, when we transport organisms around on Earth, nothing bad happens. But we do have examples where bad things could happen, and because space exploration and returning samples to Earth is a voluntary activity, taxpayers pay for it, pay, taxpayers pay for it. we don't want to cause undue risk using those taxpayer dollars. So we will contain the things, not because we think there is a hazard, but simply to make sure that we use the appropriate level of insurance to, to guarantee that there won't be. Anything coming that we don't want visited? Correct. We want to make sure that we know what's coming back and that we keep it contained until we're sure that it is not a hazard to the Earth. Well, thank you for protecting us, Cassie. You're very welcome. And for more with Cassie Conley and to learn more about her incredible work with planetary protection, be sure to check out GenConnect.com.